Hey guys, I hope you are safe and well. Excitingly today, we're gonna to be looking at the Airstep by Exonic. I've also got the Airstep Lite. Exonic claim that this is the only foot controller that you'll ever need. And after playing around with this for a few weeks, I can confirm that's pretty much true. <laughs> I've been able to control all of my musical gear in the studio, such as my pedals, my amps, even my software like Logic Pro X, which is my door that I use, um, Guitar Pro. I've also used it to control YouTube for my practice, but we'll get onto all of that later. This thing is completely insane. Unlike other basic MIDI controllers, you can actually send three different types of messages with the Airstep. First of all, you have MIDI, and you can send this via the two ports on the back of the device here. You've got two independent ports, MIDI out one and two. So for example, in my studio, my More Preamp Live has a MIDI in and out, so I can connect that to port number one. Then port number two, I could connect my Beat Buddy. So I could control both of them independently and I could set up commands on any of these five different buttons. So you guys could connect any of your gear, such as your Kempers, your Helixes, your Axe Effects, even your GT1000s with this device. The types of messages that the Airstep supports for your MIDI is program change, control change, no on and off, system real time, system exclusive, system common, channel pressure, and polyphonic pressure for all you geeks out there. And the really cool thing is that all of these different parameters can be changed on their app. So I've got here the app installed, I'll just load it up, and all I need to do is touch connect to Airstep, uh, Airstep, and I am connected and it gives me loads of different options on here, which we'll go through later. It even has presets on here for some of the most popular gear. So if you're not very good at programming, you can just load a preset and you're pretty much good to go. You can even just edit the parameters and you can see how it works. It gives you examples of things to use. Um, it's really handy and so good for someone like me who's not super duper tech savvy with all the MIDI kind of stuff. Another really cool feature of this pedal is you can actually send MIDI messages to your computer via the USB port on the back here. A pedal that just keeps giving. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of MIDI, let's take a look at the back of this device again. So you can actually connect expression pedals and you've got two independent ones there. So I've got uh, an expression pedal here. Uh, let's do a little test here. Well, it's not really a test, but you connect one in here. So you've got an expression pedal to use. There you go. Maybe you've got a pedal that uh, uses MIDI and you want to use two separate expression pedals to change some of the parameters on that pedal. You can do that. Next up, you can send HID messages. Now this is the messages that you send with your keyboard. This is where things get exciting as you can pretty much control any software on your computer, whether it's Cubase or Logic or Guitar Pro, Sibelius, basically anything that can um, enable hotkeys, which is pretty much any piece of software. It doesn't even have to be music related. You could even use this to control PowerPoint and change all your slides if you're doing a presentation or something. Um, the possibilities are endless. So this device is not only great for musicians, it's basically good for anyone who wants to change things on their computer without using their hands. Okay, so this is where things get really, really cool. So you see this antenna here. This means that this Airstep is Bluetooth ready. So you can connect to your computer via the Airstep, via Bluetooth, and it sends HID messages and MIDI messages. So you don't even need to have a cable to use this device. And just in case I forget to mention, this has a range of 30 meters. So you could be 30 meters away from your computer and operate this. And not only that, 
This is battery powered, so you don't need to have it plugged in. And the battery life on this is insane. They claim it lasts 300 hours. And even if it lasted half of that, that's still pretty insane. But I did leave this on last week for a few days and I came back in and it was still on. I was like, wow. And I actually haven't charged it since and it's still going. So their claim so far is correct. And finally, we can send relay messages that are sent by traditional foot switches. So if we look at the back of this device, there are two independent outputs for this on the back here, FS out one and two. This function allows you to switch channels on your amp, which I'm gonna test out later with my Fender Hot Rod DeVille. And also if you have a tap tempo um, output on your pedal, you can use that to connect to this as well. You can send two types of relay messages with the air step, so you have momentary and latching. And you can use a TRS or TS line to connect up your amps or pedals. So having all of those features packed into this pedal is pretty insane, especially with the Bluetooth feature, which is a massive selling point for this pedal. I could have this pedal anywhere in my studio and obviously control it from 30 meters away. And also it's worth mentioning, this pedal looks pretty sick. It's extremely sturdy. It could take some knocking about. And uh, if we turn it on here, you can see that it lights up blue on the eye for the air step. And we can change through the different channels. It's also not very heavy at all. So you could pack that into your gig bag and it wouldn't add much more weight. Okay, so let's look at the rest of the features I haven't covered on the back of this device. So we have the function button. And if I click this, you'll see a green light which uh, switches between five different buttons. And this is basically going through five different sets of presets. So on one, I have my foot switch presets, which I've set up earlier, and this should control my amp. I've set this up for my Fender Hot Rod DeVille. And number two, we've got my Guitar Pro presets. So that's got five different presets on there. Uh, the third one is for YouTube. So I've set this pedal up so I can uh, press play, forward rewind on YouTube. So cool, we'll get to that later. Number four is settings for logic, so I can control my uh, door. Number four is the settings for Logic Pro X, which is the door that I use to record all my music. I can press record 30 meters away from my computer. Now that's insane. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but my computer is way over there. I could press stop now on the recording just by standing here. Anyway, and then the fifth one uh, is bias effects. So I can control bias effects with this pedal as well. And yes, before you ask, you can use this pedal to control pretty much all of your awesome plugins that you use on your computer. Next up, we've got the on and off switch, which is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your nine volt input there, which is obviously self-explanatory as well. It does come with a cable. It is somewhere in my studio. I don't know where, but of course, all of our guitar pedals are pretty much nine volt and uh, that fits in here, so that's pretty sick. They're thought of everything, these guys. Um, we've got our antenna, which is for Bluetooth, of course. We've already been through the expression pedal. You've also got a MIDI in, that's pretty sick. You've got your USB input there we've talked about, and our foot switches, and then MIDI out. So that's everything on the back. There's nothing under there, just metal, sturdiness, and then you've got your five different controls here. And with these five different switches, you can actually assign eight different commands to one switch. And depending on the message type with these eight different commands, you get different parameters for them. So if it's MIDI, you get loads of different parameters, or if it's HID. And you can edit all of them individually. It's pretty mental. And this is all done within the app. And as I said earlier, if you're not very savvy with MIDI, there is lots and lots of presets already on the device that you can just load up and save to each of these banks. As I mentioned earlier, you kind of get five different banks that you can uh, change with the function. You save it on the phone 
and once it's saved to the device, you don't actually need to connect up to the app again. You can just change through like this, one, two, three, four, five. You just need to remember which one is set for what. And as I said earlier, I've already set these up to have five different commands of things. And the really cool thing about this air step is that you don't have to assign these five different buttons to one device. If you've got two MIDI outs connected, you could assign two of them to one pedal, let's say, and three to another pedal. You can independently change every single parameter, which is mental. So of course, you don't have to be bending over a gig and then changing the function for everything. You could have everything in one place. You can also get the Air Step Lite, which is a simplified version. If you look at this other camera here, you can see it hasn't got all the ins and outs on the back. It's just got the antenna there, so you can send signals of MIDI or HID via Bluetooth, similar to this. But the really amazing thing about this pedal is that you can use it independently. So you could just buy this if you wanted to use it with your computer or phone to control your apps or software. This is perfect for that. Um, I use this pedal to control my um, A10 Mini. I'll put a link to that video up here actually. Um, because this thing does control anything pretty much of HID, I've set this up to control all these different cameras we have here via this pedal. And if you're looking for a switcher like that, maybe you do um, live streams, you could use this to control your cameras on OBS and whatnot. You wouldn't need to buy the more expensive version of all these different inputs because you might not be a guitar player, so you won't need all this stuff, but you could use this instead. But that's not the power of this pedal. If you get both of these, you can connect them together and you then have 10 different buttons to play with. Let's say you're in a live situation and you've got an amp and loads of pedals that you want to be able to switch on and off, but you want to be able to be on a different part of the stage. You could use this pedal to connect all your MIDI out wires to your pedals or whether it's your um, expression pedals or foot switch out. Maybe you want to connect your amp as well. You could put that next to your amp over here, connect it all up via the cables, and then you could use this device. You could assign five different options to this and be, I don't know, a few meters away from all your equipment and still have the option to change things. Now that's pretty damn cool. That gets rid of all the problems and hassles of having to have wires all over the stage. Uh, this is a savior for that. And not only that, let's say you're using loads of triggers and things on your, your computer and you need to be connected via cable for some reason. You could do that with your um, main air step and have this on stage somewhere out the way. It can also just be used as an extender. Let's say you want to go to 60 meters. You could just use this device to be a bit closer there and then have that going even further away. I hope that makes sense. I'm getting so excited about this pedal, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's the air step light, another option. I'll put a list of all the most popular devices this can be used with, but as I say, this can pretty much be adapted to any device that you want to control, whether it's with the foot switch out or the MIDI or the expression or the HID messages. Insanity. I also want to say in terms of the app, this works with um, Apple and Android, so I haven't got to worry about that. Okay, so first of all, before I show you five different ways I use the AirStep in my studio, let me show you how easy it is to connect this AirStep to the app. So I've downloaded the AirStep app, as you can see here, and I've turned my Bluetooth on, and you'll see here, actually I need to turn this, turn this on. <laughs> so make sure you turn on your AirStep, uh, install the app, and what I want to do is touch to connect AirStep, Let's do that, and you should see air step there. Straight away, it's connected. And what I've got here, you see at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, there's all your different presets. On one, I've got external foot switch, which I'm gonna to use to control my Fender amp and change channels. Number two, I've set up Guitar Pro, so I can control my Guitar Pro software on my computer. I'm gonna show you that. I've got YouTube uh, preset, 
so I can do restart video, uh, play pause, back forward, etc. Uh, set it preset for is for Logic Pro X, so I can control my door software on my computer. I'll show you that as well. And we've got bias effects. I can control that. So this is the app. That is how easy it is to connect to your air step. And you do the same thing with the light. You just turn it on then connect. And you can actually see here lights not connected. It says there, uh, but we've got this connected. So let's say I wanted to connect something different. You click on the top left here. There's actually loads of presets already in there. So the top here, external foot switch. I already use that guitar pro, YouTube, Logic, Bias Effects. They're the ones I will be using. There's also an ATEM setting, which I've been using to switch my cameras. Once again, there's a link somewhere in the information card you can check out. <clears throat> you can set up Acrobat Reader so you can use it to uh, scroll through your PDFs. Uh, you can control your axe effects, there's presets there. Uh, Beat Station app, Boss 200 series. Chase Bliss, that was done by Henning, I think. Uh, you can control GE Labs, Garage Fan, HX Stomp, HX Stop Combo, Amplitude. Now let's say you want to save one of these presets to the different functions. So when I say function, that's that button on the back here. If I'm clicking through all five of these, you'll notice here on the app, when I'm clicking, it's switching between the different presets on the app. So let's say we want to change one, which I've got set up for my amp to, I don't know, control my X effects. Let's click that, hold on writing data, and you press save, and done. I'm not going to do that, but you'd save that then to your air step device on preset number one or function number one. And we can actually look here at what the five different buttons do. So A, B, C, D, and E on the app represent the five different buttons. So A, B, C, D, and E. A is a preset minus, B is preset plus, C is set to bypass, and D is a tuner, and E here is tap tempo. These already pre-set up things. You can click on each of them. So let's say the tap tempo, let's click on that you can see how this is all set up. So this is a MIDI message. If I click on MIDI, you can change that to a HID or foot switch, anything you want, um, output interface, and it's got different options there. This has obviously all been set up for that particular device. So that gives you an idea of how you'd set up um, one of these uh, buttons for that particular device. So middle ch MIDI channel one, CC number 14. So Exonic have obviously done their research and worked out what values work with uh, the Axe FX. You could probably look up different values and change this. Maybe you want to change certain parameters of an effect. You can assign something different instead of tap tempo. You could change or turn on some gain or turn it off or turn a pedal on and off. The options are endless. And as I mentioned earlier, you can add eight different commands onto one button. So we're on the first button here, you see message two, you press plus, you can add another message, message three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you don't see any more pluses. So you can add eight different commands to this one button, which is crazy. So you could actually have, by pressing this one button or releasing it or whatever you set the trigger to, you could do eight different things. So it could turn on your delay, turn off something else, turn on your wire pedal. You get the idea. And you can do eight different commands on each of the pedals. Obviously, most of the time, you're probably going to have one command for each thing. So that is how simple the app is to use. But let's go back into A again. So as I mentioned earlier, you can change the type of message. So we've got MIDI, HID, foot switch or device. Um, if we did change this to HID, the parameters would change. So because HID is basically the uh, keyboard signals, you press key value here and it basically gives you your keyboard options here. So you could set this particular parameter for A, let's say 
five on a keyboard when you're doing some certain software, I don't know, presses play, you could set number five for this and then go done. And then when you press that first button on the computer, it will assume that you're pressing five and play and do it. Anyway, I'm getting too in depth with this. I just wanted to show you how simple that is. And hopefully you can see that. Okay, let's now test out the first function that I've set up. Right, so I'm gonna turn on my Fender amp. I'm gonna grab a guitar. Oh, this guitar's plugged in, it should be. Hopefully this guitar is plugged in. Basically, we want to replicate what this does. So I'm gonna take the cable here and we're gonna put this into the foot switch out one. With this setting, I've got the toggle on and I've got two messages. So I've got foot switch uh, set for both the message types. I've got two different messages. Uh, action, one with on latching and the other one with off latching. So this should switch between them both. So there's my gain. And there's my clean. So that's my first preset, pretty simple, but it works. There you go. We could connect up this second device. Let me do that. And so what you could do is you could put this on stage next to your amp. You could have this miles away from your amp and then use this to control. And as I said earlier, you could then actually assign other parameters to the other four. So you don't have to just have them empty. Let's say you've got uh, a pedal connected. Let's say my more preamp live is connected to that as well. I control that with this foot switch, which is miles away from the pedal. So next up, we're gonna move over to my laptop. So I've got a Mac here and we're gonna be sending signals from this to Guitar Pro. So I've already got this set up on my phone. So if I head over here again, um, if I go to number two and we should see it change here, uh, you can see Guitar Pro and I've got for the first message A, I've got page up, page down, play stop, uh, previous bar and next bar. So that's all set up and that's working through HID and sending signals to my computer via Bluetooth. So if we now, I have, oh, by the way, what you have to do is, now that I know that this is all set up and saved, I need to make sure I turn off the Bluetooth on my phone and then head over to the laptop and turn on the Bluetooth. So, turning on Bluetooth and it says there, air step connected. So when you're connecting the air step to your computer via Bluetooth, you can then send your HID signals. You can't send your MIDI signals just yet. You need to download some particular software. For Macs, you need to download Bluetooth MIDI Connect. In the instructions, there'll be some different software you need to use for your PC. But I downloaded this for my Mac and this allows you to send your MIDI signals via Bluetooth to your computer. And then what you do is you open up this Bluetooth MIDI control and you can connect to your air step. And as you can see there, you can actually see my preamp live because that's Bluetooth, but let's connect to that. So I've connected it via the Bluetooth to my computer. Now the next step is to go to Guitar Pro. So as we said earlier, now if I go, look at that. <laughs> I'm controlling this via the foot switch. So you can go up and down the page like this. You can press play. Oh, by the way, this is the tabs from my recent video, ACDC um, Power Up Riff Medley. You can get this on Patreon. <laughs> 
so you can literally press play and stop with that. You can go to different bars, so number four and five, or D and E, go uh, back a bar and forward a bar. This is so handy for me because I like to practice with um, Guitar Pro and it's so good not to be able to use your hands. So that is my second preset. You could use it to control your Guitar Pro on your computer. Next up, let's move on to YouTube. So if I press the function button one more time, there's a little green flash there on the third one. Now, if we head over to YouTube, I do have to say though, for this to work for YouTube, you do have to install an extension onto Chrome, which I have up here. I'm sure there'll be links on the website for that. See, let's me press play on the video. We can also pause it. We can also pause it, we can forward the video, we can rewind it. Um, we can also go back to the beginning of the video with number one. So that's pretty sick. Another function of the pedal. Okay, so moving on to logic. So that is the fourth setting. So I just press the green button, we're on the fourth preset. If I now load up Logic Pro X, Okay, so I've got Logic Pro X opened up. I've just got a basic project with some drums, but it will do the job to show you the example of this. So I've got five different uh, buttons set up. The third button or C is to press play. And the next one D is stop. And I can use one and two or A and B to go back. I think that's a bar. Yeah, that goes back and forwards a bar. And if I want to, I can press five or E. Oh no, I need a track to record, give me a second. And with E or the fifth button, if I press that, now I've added uh, something to record with, I can press that and it actually records. And you can use D to press stop. So this is very cool, especially for me because my computer is usually very far over there and I have to keep running back and forth just to uh, press stop and play while I'm recording the videos for you. So I can now use the air step to control that via Bluetooth and be up to 30 meters away, which is crazy. So that's another way to control your music software with this pedal. Okay, last of all, we've got preset number five. We changed that there. I can control bias effects. So let's load up bias effects. I think all you need to do for this is go to audio settings and active MIDI inputs, click on the air step Bluetooth. And now this should be activated and ready to use with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign some presets for this. We go to MIDI settings and MIDI control assignments, add new MIDI controller, um, learn. So if I click this now, that should assign whatever I click to each preset. There we go. Simple as that. So this is using MIDI via Bluetooth. Uh, now if I press all these different things, there we go, I can switch between all the different presets. Obviously I've quickly done this and of course you could assign different kind of things, say with this particular reverb, I could assign C to turn off that reverb or turn it on. And like I said earlier, I could assign eight different commands to one of these buttons. Let's say I could make C turn off the reverb, change the amp, etc etc and of course another cool feature this is completely wireless so i can be miles away from my computer let's say you're gigging with uh, bias effects you could now go on stage with this and change all your different settings let's say you've got one for clean one for the distorted one for your solo channel the possibilities are endless you could have this tucked away safe out 
30 meters away, I don't know, backstage somewhere, as long as it's on, connected to this, and you can play live with your air step and computer. Now, that is madness. And of course, you can connect to any of these kind of plugins, not just bias effects, even if it's, um, what is it, neural DSP, anything like that, really. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's links in description where you can get hold of your air step pedals. Let me know what you thought about it in the description below. I'll also put links to the Exonic YouTube channel. You can go over there and check out loads of different videos where they connect the air step to lots of different devices. It's very cool. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you for another video very soon. Take care, man. Oh, I feel it now. I can't make you smile.